Okay, Sharon, tell us why did you decide to come out to show your support for Dr. Tony Tan right now? I mean, as I mentioned in my speech, I was actually very, very encouraged by the Singapore that I've seen since I came back about four months ago. Because I had this impression that, you know, we are always very quiet, not, not daring, and, you know, we don't express ourselves that readily. But when I came back and uh, I, I saw the way... Um, everyone was discussing about the general election back in May. I was very encouraged and I felt, oh wow, I can finally put my, um, the things I've learned or the experiences that I've um, uh, seen abroad to good use here. So if I feel something for someone or I feel strongly for um, an issue, I, I felt now very confident and um, much easier to, to talk to people now. Because in the past, you always feel that will, there, will this be a taboo subject or is this even allowed? But now I just felt everyone is free to express what they feel, right? But of course, that, that has its downside as well, as I also um, was emphasizing that as much as we embrace freedom of speech, we also have to be very careful because words are actually very hurtful. And you know, now with the whole influx and the whole flourish of social media, um, everyone can be anonymous. Um, people can say whatever they want and hide behind um, a name um, that can be a little unhealthy as well yeah. so how closely have you been following this presidential campaign so far and uh, what do you feel about it I just, so far? I, I, I'm enjoying every moment of it I actually feel all four candidates are able men who, whom I thought are very brave because for someone like me um, who has stepped out of the private uh, step out of the public eye I know how exactly it feels to be back into, in the public limelight again because there's a lot of stress which people might not be aware of. It's not just when we stand up for something or when we stand in front of a camera, it's not just us that could be under attack. It's everyone that we bring along with us. Like, it's your children, it's your spouse, it's everyone. So people are not pleased with you and they would continue to be not pleased with your family, your friends, and they would start digging up stories, true ones, or even um, some fabricated ones. So what I'm saying is, it's actually a lot of courage. It takes a lot to, to want to be out there like that because you are like a, you're just a ready target. Especially now, as I said, with the social media, there's no stopping. And I already said, it's, there's a healthy side to it and there's also an unhealthy side to it. So um, I actually applaud the four of them. Um, and I think they are very brave. So do you have any advice for Dr. Tony Tan then if he gets elected as president, as a public figure yourself, how to handle this limelight? No advice from me because I think she's, he's handling it very well. Uh, in fact, the one thing that I really adore about him is his sense of collectedness and his calmness. When I speak to him, there can be storm that is all brewing around us, but he just makes me feel safe again. It's his way of delivery. So I think he's the expert here. He should be teaching me how to deal with uh, the sudden media attention. Because I, I actually retreat back into my, my, my own shell, my own comfort zone. And that's why, um, you know, even being here today, I took leave from my company. Whatever I say do not represent my company's standpoint. And uh, I took a lot of pains to make sure that I do not, uh, I am not um, um, appearing so I took a lot of pains to keep my profile really low because I really just want to do what I'm most comfortable with now. Yeah, so I should be looking up to him for, you know, such, such a maneuvering of, you know, public, private, private, public. It's actually, the line is very blurred. Yeah. So a final word on what do you think makes Dr. Tan a good presidential candidate? His credentials. He, he's the cap he is capable. He has all the experience. And... I, I just have absolute confidence that he is the man who will just bring us and deliver Singapore to a greater height. Yeah.